How's it going guys, it's Ty Chapman here. Today I wanna to show you how the Shopify Plus store made an extra $70,000 using this one little tick in their shopping cart on the way to the checkout. It's ridiculous, $70,000 because they added this one little tick. And look, the crazy thing is hardly any stores are using this right now and it's an easy thing to implement on your store today. Um, pretty much any store can do this using different products and different techniques. I'll, sh I'll get into it a little bit later, but you can do this today. It's really easy to set up. Uh, let's just dive straight into the stats and I'll show you behind the scenes of how they're doing this. Um, as you can see, so I'm just, I've just opened up this app, Monster Upsell and basically you can see the campaigns one checkup sell $41,000 from this specific campaign uh, if you keep scrolling through $15,000 from this other campaign they love to test all different products and all different styles of uh, there's one chick upsell but it's as you can see it's actually working it's making real money for this store I'm gonna show you how it looks and how it works right now so check this out. I'm gonna hide all of their branding for confidentiality reasons and their products and everything like that. Um, but you get the idea pretty quickly. It's this one little tick. Look at this, tick, tick. I've just added an extra $45 to this shopping cart just from this tick. This is the one that earned them $41,000, all right? And if we click through, we can see they've just got a few other campaigns just testing different products. Oh, this is the same price points. They've been looking at other price points, $5 price points. Alrighty guys, let's dig in a little bit further into this $41,000 campaign and see what offer and options they were using. Now, the way that we do that is we click on this little edit button. And voila, I'm in the back end of the one tick upsell. Now I'm not gonna teach you everything right now about one tick upsell and how this all works and everything. I'm just gonna show you the offer and the way that they were thinking when they set this up, okay? Now, what we're gonna do first is we're gonna scroll down and we can see these are the trigger products that triggered the little one tick upsell. Now, something to note is that these trigger products, they would have sought these out. You saw before that there was a ton of different campaigns that they tested on, all different upsells, all different trigger products and things like that. So they've done a lot of testing and test, test, test. That is what you do in e-commerce. I can't stress that enough. Just try new things as much as you can and then iterate on them. Now what they would have done is they'd found the perfect products that work well with this little tick, okay? And the beauty of this, let's scroll down a little bit further and we'll see this is where they add your upsell product. And here's the crazy thing, $45.65 is how much the one tick adds to the cart. Now this is a physical product. I don't recommend every single store try a $45 physical product for their first one tick. You've got to test, test, test. Most success that I've seen for, uh, for stores has been the 10 to $15 mark for physical products and then the three to $5 mark for non-physical products. I'll talk about them a little bit later. Now the way you want to be thinking about finding the perfect one tick upsell physical product. Number one, is this a no-brainer product? Does this product just, of course, accompany the other ones that are in the cart, okay? So the way you gotta be thinking is like uh, batteries. Of course I need batteries with this. Or a screen protector for your phone. Of course I need a screen protector because I just bought a phone or a phone case. Number two, is it within reach? You don't want the product price to be extremely high. It's gotta be about a third of the average order value card that you have. Do the mass, what's a third or what's a, what's a fourth of that and make it really easy. It's just a little extra something, something that you're gonna add to the car on the way to the checkout. And number three is it's super easy to understand. You want people to understand what your product is without having to research it. It's just gotta go, a screen protector? I know what a screen protector is. Yes, I want one of them. I don't need to research what type of screen protector. I don't need to find out what color things are or how this works or anything like that. It's just a little tick on the way to the checkout. That's it, I don't want you to have to go research what that product is. And if you can nail those three things for your physical products, you're on your way to having a winner. One of the other cool things about this little tick thing is you can actually experiment on different types of products. So a lot of stores are using non-physical products with this one little tick. So what am I talking about? I'm talking about priority processing, uh, shipping protection, warranties, and things like that, things that add value, things that you can still sell, but you don't have to sell a physical product. How cool is that? That's something I definitely recommend having a play with. Now I wanna jump in and teach you how to actually set this up. But before I do that, I just wanna show you some stats of this store. 
Like, look at these numbers. This is from last week. Basically, what we've been able to do for them, it's $150,000 in revenue, pretty much, uh, with $40,000 in upsell revenue. Ridiculous, okay? And there's other techniques that these guys are using in their cart. I'm gonna show you about them too. I'm on a demo store with the Monster Upsells app installed, uh, and we're just gonna build our own one-check upsell campaign. It's super easy to do. I'm just gonna click on New Campaign. I've already set up my cart in the settings where you can kind of customize all your branding and your colors and everything like that. Uh, and then what I'm doing is just jumping in, clicking on new campaign. I've got a test up here. One tick upsell. I want it to run. So what do I want it to trigger on? Every single product that's added to cart, I want this little tick in the corner to appear. All right. Um, and look, here's the crazy thing. You can actually tick this by default. Tons of brands are actually doing this and it's working so well for them. Um, so ticked by default, it only kind of works with certain products. So something like priority processing or um, shipping protection, it, it works really well by default. So I definitely recommend testing it. Um, I'm going to leave it on for now. So ticked by default. And then we're gonna scroll down and just choose our product that we wanna do. Um, I've got a priority processing product that I've set up over in the product section of Shopify. It's really easy to set up. And if, if you click on this here, you can see this is the text that I added in um, for the description in the product. And then I just use this picture. It's really easy to use. You can actually steal this picture um, from our demo store if you want in Monster Upsells. Um, cool. Now, uh, so I've got priority processing. Wanna get your order fast, get priority processing and we'll bump your order up to the front of the line. Crazy, hey, like this is mind blowing. You're actually adding a product to the cart that, that isn't physical in nature. But what I also suggest is actually testing your physical products too. That's what this Shopify Plus store was doing to get the $45 one tick upsell. That royally crushed it for them. Now let's go back to our demo store. It's pretty much already ready to go and we're gonna save and activate, boom. And now when we go onto our store, I'm just gonna refresh. It should be there. Let's have a look. Priority pricing, $1.99. Boom, there we go. I've just added an extra $1.99 to pretty much every single order uh, that goes through to the checkout. Now, as I said before, definitely try different products and try unticking and ticking. Obviously, it's not gonna work with every single brand. Test, test, test. That's what we say in e-commerce, right? If you're interested in increasing your average order value without super devaluing your products and, your, and discounting them heavily and using countdown timers and scary things like that, this app might be good for you. There's other campaign options that you can choose from like add to unlock plus frequently bought together this campaign is it's it's probably the biggest winner for every single store that implements it on their site it's pretty much so add to unlock add 20 dollars to get free shipping so it's really simple super compelling it's just persuasive but it doesn't devalue your products and then we're just com com coupling that with frequently bought together and it's just super powerful this frequently bought together module also has machine learning in it if you want to activate that uh, that uses shopify's machine learning from past orders and things uh, to suggest other products to be added to the cart this campaign alone normally increases revenue by up to 10 to 15 percent instantly when you activate it on your site it's ridiculously powerful then we got buy more save more really compelling for the right type of product so if a product is likely to be bought in multiples this just works like a dream buy more save more these two alone are insane add to unlock and one tick upsell are just like the bomb you need to try it on your store I'm gonna leave some links somewhere uh, so you can implement this right now. Uh, one tick upsell, add to unlock, or buy more, save more, whatever you want. You can implement it right now for free. You've got a 10 day trial uh, that we've organized for you. Just click one of the links. I don't know where it is, wherever it is around this video. Um, the other thing is we want you to join our Facebook group. It's our e-commerce marketing Facebook group where we shove as much e-com information, tips, wisdom, whatever hacks into there as possible, um, covering pretty much everything to do with e-com marketing and growth hacking, uh, email, SMS, uh, average order values, lifetime values, increasing your revenue, uh, long-term strategy, branding, Facebook groups, communities, and things like that. Join that uh, Facebook group for free. I'm gonna just keep throwing more stuff in there and hopefully we're gonna do some interviews with some other e-com juggernauts uh, in the future. I'm super pumped about that. Join the group. 
sign up for a 10-day free trial um, on this app and increase your revenue. Normally stores get a 10 to 15% increase in revenue straight away when they start using this app. Um, it's completely up to you. I know what I'll be doing. Yep. Peace out. <laughs> uh, love you all. See you soon.